good afternoon, everyone. My name is Leah Rockwell. I am the Director of Parks and Recreation. I am so excited that we are here today. I know you have a lot on your plate this afternoon or this evening with your annual meeting, so we're going to try and keep this as brief as possible, but we really want to um, have a fabulous ribbon-cutting ce celebration of this beautiful, beautiful new center we have here at South Olive Park. With that being said, I am going to introduce our honorable Mayor Keith James to please come to the microphone and let's get this party started. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what was that? Brett, was that you making? Uh, yes, it was, Your Honor. All right, I, I need you to come to City Hall, man. You know, every other Monday by six o'clock, I need you there. Anyway, Leah, thank you so much for that uh, introduction, and welcome everyone to the ribbon cutting for the South Olive Tennis Center. This has been such a long time coming, and today is such a special day. And even the heavens are crying with joy. <laughs> I made that up, by the way. So I'm so honored to be here to officially present to you your new tennis center. That's a round for applause, Yay! another one. A little bit about the facility. This 3,061 square foot building now features more amenities, larger locker rooms for residents, visitors, and tennis enthusiasts. Additionally, the building would be LEED certifiable. That means leadership in environmental and energy design, for those of you who don't know. The value of the project is $2.6 million, but the value to our city, our communities, and certainly to the South Side is, as they say, priceless. Yes. <laughs> if you love tennis, it is a great place to visit when practicing your skills or playing a game. Whether you are a young child looking to learn or an adult looking to take your game to the next level, you now have a wonderful new home at the South Olive Tennis Center. Now the project is significant for many reasons. Uh, let me name just a few. Tennis has a role to play in community development. So we must do everything we can to facilitate the growth and sustainability of the sport in our city. The South Olive Tennis Center is a great start to doing just that. We know that a great quality of life begins in our neighborhoods. A great quality of life begins in our neighborhoods. So we are working to build stronger neighborhoods. We do that by prioritizing public safety, engaging with our communities, making investments in infrastructure and in our parks and recreation, recreation facilities and by strategically identifying projects that enhance our neighborhoods. Again, the South Isle of Tennis Center checks all of those boxes. So some of you might have heard, uh, it's a rumor on the street, my vision for our city is to make West Palm Beach a community of opportunity for all. A community of opportunity for all. Whereby anyone, any boy or girl, man, woman, can realize something in the city to help them achieve their own personal dreams. And you know, perhaps someday a young girl or boy will realize their dreams of a college scholarship or tennis stardom thanks, even in some small measure, to the South Olive Tennis Center. Nothing is impossible, ladies and gentlemen. The South Olive Tennis Center facilitates connections in our community and with our neighbors through the love of tennis and makes our neighborhoods, the South End, and indeed even our entire city even stronger. I need to start carrying with me one of those applause lights, you know, <laughs> just push the button so you know. <laughs> it would not have been possible not for the contributions of so many who gave of themselves, their time, and their talents on behalf of our city. So tonight I do have quite an extensive list of thank yous. First, thank you to city commissioners who have been so supportive of our Parks and Recreation Department and investments in our city's infrastructure that are brought to life by Engineering Services Department. Thank you, and I see two. Thank you, well let me name them. 
and, and, and I guarantee you, commissioners, you're going to get a standing ovation tonight. So, um, yeah, those of you in the back, you'll get that eventually. Uh, Commissioner Lambert, please give her a round of applause. And Commissioner Christy Fox. And I believe that is it. So you all got standing ovations like that was there. All right. Thank you also to all the tennis teams, the residents of South End neighborhoods, Cena South End Neighborhood Association, led by the very able former commissioner uh, Shannon Materio. Who was a very vocal force to get this job done. So uh, we, we, we heard you, Shannon. And the PRAC, the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee, I know we have some of your, your members here. Thank you so much. All of these community members encouraged the city to move the project forward, helped inform the design, and supported this project. Um, but before I go further, I see Assistant City Administrator Armando Fana here. Uh, I see my assistant to the city administrator, Dr. Philip Harris, here. Thank you for coming. Our police chief. Give him a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Jennifer Ferriero from HCD. Deputy Chief Richard Morris. Okay, that's it. Anybody else from staff? I didn't recognize. Uh, you can talk to me later. All right. So I know this has been a long time coming, so I thank you all for working with us to make it a reality. Special appreciation goes to tennis pro Skip Jackson. Ooh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he has a number of assistant pros for the youth and adult programs who provide uh, uh, services and to the successful competitive ladies teams. Any members from the ladies teams here? Okay, thank you. You know, the tennis community and the South End neighborhoods truly make South Olive Tennis Center a vibrant and active facility. Uh, thank you also to Toby Hartnett and Philip Hartnett of Hartnett Building Group for the great job they did. Such an attention to detail, and they have delivered a final product that is something of which we all can be very proud. Thank you again, gentlemen. And there are several City of West Palm Beach employees who are working every day on behalf of our residents and without whom this project would not be possible. Engineering Services Director Kelvin Brawlbeck, who is not here, but you can clap anyway. <laughs> Special Projects Manager Lorenzo Rivero. Lorenzo Rivero. <laughs> Job well done, my friend. Thank you so much. And of course, Parks and Recreation Director Leah Rockwell. Leah. Uh, the Housing and Community Development Department, led by Director Jennifer Ferriero. Jennifer, <laughs> and she's supported by Housing and Community Development Program Coordinator Lucy Joseph. Yeah. You may not know that six hundred fifty thousand dollars in CDBG Community Development Block Grant funds help fund this project. Uh, Omado, you was probably a part of that application years ago, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, and HCD, certainly under Armando's leadership at the time, helped facilitate the grants. I wish to point out that this team managed to complete the project during an unprecedented public health crisis. That's even more impressive. There's even a round of you know, We had a pandemic going on, people. That in and of itself is extraordinary. I think it speaks volumes about the commitment, talent, and expertise of the 1,700 city employees who are truly there each and every day for our community and who are working to make this an extraordinary city, I like to say, the best city in Florida, but I'm biased, but you could join me if you, you uh, clap if you agree with me. Thank you. Well 
done, everyone. The Parks and Recreation Department, with Parks Bond funding, will start working on Phase 2 of the project, which will include the renovation of the courts and additional parking lot. Yeah. Again, thank you to all. Let's go cut a ribbon. Good. Ten, nine.